to go party anywhere last night. Not that I ever really do party on New Year's Eve, but um, man, I didn't get to do too much of anything but stay in the house and reflect on God's goodness, my health, the health of my children and my loved ones. And I gotta tell you, um, I am just so totally thankful um, I got up this morning and I've just laid in the bed again, just reflecting and thankful. Whew. God is good. At some point, I think I forgot just how amazing God is. And I forgot how amazing he is. And I know I forgot because I forgot how amazing I am. And when you start to forget how amazing you are, you forget how amazing your creator is. And when I look back over some things, especially for this 2022 year, it was rough. It was it was a rough year, hands down. And I know some folk um, don't like to label things, you know, like, oh, well, this is not rough, it just is. And I get all of that, but sometimes, it also is rough. And for some reason, somehow or another, man, my spirit and the Holy Spirit connected and I was able to remind myself that yeah, things was rough, but boo, you still are a unicorn and you are still one of a kind. Cause not too many black women are doing it the way you're doing it. And you're doing it in your own way. And I'm proud of that. So no, I may not be where some other folks are and I may not be some people's number one pick, but I'm my number one pick. And guess what? I'm not a rocket scientist. I'm not a doctor. I'm not an attorney. I'm not an author with millions of books sold. I'm a humbled health and physical education teacher. But I got licenses and degrees. And I'm one of a kind in my field. And I keep forgetting to give myself credit for that. I keep forgetting to give myself credit for being a mother of four beautiful children. Cause you know what the truth of the matter is? There are some women out there, black, white, Latino, Latina, Latinx, Asian, Korean, Chinese, Japanese, Indian, whatever it is, but women who can't give birth to children for whatever reason, whether it's their health, whether they don't have the desire to do so, whatever it is, that's something they can't do. But I have four beautiful, healthy children. No problems there. And in addition to having my career, in addition to having my degrees and our education, and my body being well enough to give birth to four healthy children. I also chose to go out and start my own business with a fleet of luxury cars on a teacher's salary. One of a kind, one of the only black women in my industry in the tri-state area. So guess what? I'm doing all right. I may not be where I wanna be, but I'm somewhere more or one step ahead than where I was. Last year this time I had COVID. Last year this time I had a shattered heart. It wasn't even broken, it was shattered. And I'm still here to tell it. What more could you say? God is good. I said to a friend of mine, I'm the black sheep of the family, the oddball, march to my own beat. And that friend said, I never understood what that meant. And you never seemed to be that one growing up. I thought you was just mad cool. I loved your personality. I loved your energy. And I'm like, yo, word, I never knew. But I'm telling you, I was that one. And, um... Let me turn this music down a little bit. I'm in my car jamming because I didn't get the jam last night. But I had to explain to them that, yeah, I was. I was the oddball. I'm still an oddball. 
but um it's all good because it's just who i am you know i love my family to life i'd be the first one to step up and fight do not mess with my family oh stop playing Hey, hey, hey. I love it, man. I just can't help it. I love music. But, um, yeah, call me goofy. I will be goofy. But I'm living my life. And I love good music and good people. And I love fun. And if that makes me goofy, then guess the hell what? I'll be goofy all day long. As long as I make my money honestly, and as long as I respect people and I show love, then damn real i'll be goofy but anyhow um like i was saying i will show up for my family no matter what and do i get back that same response from people no i don't but it's all good because i'm still being me and to me that's all that matters so yes people come at me and they come at me hard but you know what it is? I think some people make being strong look so damn smooth that other people think it's okay to come hard body at them, tear them down, call themselves, giving them some guidance. When they really truly in their heart might be a little jealous or envious. Even though they stuff look good, they still see a little something that they wish they had in that other person. And so if they see a moment to come at them and, and come a little hard body, to tear them down a little bit, they'll do it. It's just the nature of the beast. This human beings is what we do. So I'm that person that people see as hard body, strong, you, you, you might think I have it all together all the time. I mean, really, truly, you don't see a lot of absolutely natural black Barbie dolls around. And I used to get so offended when I walked in a building in my younger days when my hair was really truly fly and dope down my damn back. I mean, truly, I, that's what they would call me, the Barbie doll. I thought that was offensive. I mean, really, because there's nothing plastic about me. And trust me, you, there is no air up here not you don't have two master's degrees and a bachelor's and everything else with four children and running your own gig and living in one of the most fluent neighborhoods in the tri-state area so call it what you want but anyhow bobby doll was what i got a lot of and so yeah people come at me a little hard and i was like you know what but you can't beat me However, being strong all the time does leave cracks in the foundation. And that's something that most people don't realize. And then there were those who I believe either study you mad hard that they too realize that there are cracks or there were some who were on the same level or was on the same level as you and they are aware that there are cracks and instead of them trying to fill those cracks in and keep you strong so we could keep this thing going and we could keep winning they take those little cracks and they try to beat you down and i had a couple of people try to come at me like that this past year and they tried to come at me hard body and they didn't know that i knew well, let me do it like I did with Chris Rock one day at, at Starbucks. They didn't know that I knew that they know that I knew that they knew that I knew that they knew that they was coming hard body for me. So I just stood there and I said, uh-huh, mm-hmm, uh-huh. If you ever have my, my audience and I stand there and I go, mm-hmm, uh-huh, mm -hmm. mm hmm Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. More than likely, I got your card and I don't have the energy to even react because I know it's not necessary. And I'm going to tell you something and it's not even a secret. It's just simply the truth. God's Holy Spirit, most of the time, allows me to know when someone is genuinely putting me on because they care for me or when they're just saying things just because 
A, they probably do know what they're talking about, but they're not coming to me in the spirit of love. They're coming to me in the spirit of, aha, I got you where I want you. You're vulnerable right now. You're weak. And I'm going to use that to my advantage. Yeah, that's not, that's not the God I know. The God I know is a God of love. And he's a God of trust. And he's a God of just. And he is not going to ever come at me and my lowest to kick me while I'm down. So I will not even respond to you. I will say, mm-hmm, uh-huh, mm-hmm. See, my thing to claim in Marcy Projects, no disrespect, is not Jay-Z. I love the brother. He is for sure like family to me. But he's not my thing to claim. And I'm so proud of him. My fame to claim for Marcy is the upbringing that I got there. The ability to know real from real. The, the sense of community and family that I got from being there. The ability to turn on that, that girl and the ability to turn her off and be that woman. Yeah, that sense of village. Hmm. That ability to know when someone is trying to game you. I had to get all of that from there. And my grandmother, who was my heart, whom I loved to life, she saved my life. She has so much pride being in her red and white and being from Marcy, regardless of her Georgia roots. There was no way that I could not have the same kind of proudness or pride and love for my hood. And although there was a lot of spaces and cracks that I did not fit into, it still was home for me, no matter what. So, I am screaming, Happy New Year to 2023 because I am so believing God that new things, big things are coming to pass. 2021 was crazy. 2020 was beyond crazy. 2022 was honestly something I've never seen before. Just unbelievable. But 2023, man, I feel it in my bones. <laughs> and I'm so thankful that I'm still here to see and taste the fruit of my labor. And I'm gonna be very clear that I'm not taking any of the glory. And I'm gonna be very clear that any, any fruit that comes from me, it will be shared. My non-for-profit, my 501c3, it is in the works. Thank you, Jesus. My fleet of cars, it is growing and our clientele is growing. I am excited. And anybody who may have thought they got over, you didn't get over, you just got a pass. But I'm gonna tell you this, you only get one pass, just one. And to my loved ones and my family members, if you haven't figured out who I am yet, I suggest you get it right. Because my love doesn't stop. But I have learned that sometimes you got to love people from a distance. And I've also learned that forgiveness doesn't mean that you got to welcome people back into your life. You just simply got to let them go. And lastly, I know to the ward towards the end of the year, there was a couple of businesses that I put on blast. And guess what? I don't apologize for that. I don't. 
And I will say it again. If one of my cards does not show up and you put a down payment down, and hell, I'm going to go as far as to say, even if you didn't put a down payment down and we had a conversation and you ordered a car and something went down and a car did not show up, please come find me because my word is my bond. And those two businesses that I put on blast, last one was Be Seen Creations. I did that for a reason. Because my word is truly my bond. And when you and I have our long conversations on the phone, and when I trust you with my money and product, and I am now empty handed with nothing, and you don't take into consideration what it took for me to A, trust you with my money, B, shop for the product, C, wait for it to be shipped to me, D, go ship it to you. E, wait for you to complete the product. F, wait for you to let me know the product is ready. And then wait for the product to come back to me. That's a lot of anxiety and waiting. And then it was for my birthday? And you didn't send me back nothing but a bunch of ego and pride and yakety yak about your talent nah B that's not how I was brought up I'm brought up like this your client and your customer is right and if there is something that is not correct on your end as the business owner or someone providing a service you want that feedback from your client because that's what's going to make you better for the next one that's how you keep growing and guess what? If there is a way to get things right and keep it right, then you go that way. But see, B, B seen Creations, Miss Turner, see, she didn't want to get it right because she didn't even want to accept my payment when I offered her payment. Lady, look, I don't want no drama from you. Although I really only owe you $250, here's the $275. For all of you who didn't know the whole story, here's your 275. I really only owe you 250 because I never told you to put all crystals on my pro on my corset. I told you to put crystals and rhinestones. But here's my 275. And Miss Turner said, No, I don't want your money. In fact, don't contact me anymore because I don't want your money or your time and I did all this work. Yeah, you, you got full of yourself. But see, the problem with that now is that you stand a chance of not getting any business. So business 101, people, if you have a product, I don't give a damn how good it is. If you got somebody willing to wear your stuff and they paid for it and they're going to be walking billboards for you, in a city that never sleeps, in a state that's within a state, the state of Brooklyn, you better take that bad boy and run. Yeah, that's the whole story. The whole story. Mahogany Simone Sanders did not try to not pay anybody their money. She offered to pay more than what she should have paid. And the person told her, no, I don't want your money. Do not contact me anymore. And me with the attorney brain that I have said, no, darling, I will actually contact you for the court date because that's where we'll be going. Because there's no way you took my down payment and the corset that I purchased. The corset that was supposed to be included in the cost. And you get to walk away with everything? I'm sorry, my grandmother didn't raise me that way. And my business law classes didn't raise me that way either. Yeah, before I became a teacher, people, I was studying business. And one of my favorite classes was business law. Loved it! it. <laughs> Let me stop because it's not worth it. But people, truth of the matter, one of the things to take away was to advocate for yourself. Always, hands down. And with that being said, 
that's what I chose to do. But I also believe in paying people for their worth. And I gotta tell you, my corset look bad ass. And so I'm a little sad that I may not get to wear it because although I know I'm in my right, as far as the product truly belonging to me, sometimes you gotta really truly look at a situation and say, is it worth it? Because I really truly believe that if she keeps that corset, she won't win. She will not win. I'm telling you right now, she will not win. But what I need to keep doing is focusing on Mahogany, Mahogany's business, Mahogany's loved ones, and what the future holds for Mahogany and Jet Black Transportation LLC. On top of that, one accord, it takes a village, African American community organization, and what we plan to do for our community because that stuff right there in itself is far bigger than any corset, bra, crystals, rhinestones, any of that little stuff. That's for little people. We doing big things. And that's what we always do coming from Marcy Projects, Do or Die, Bed Stop, Brooklyn, New York. We always do big things. We do it big all day, every day. Some people just don't understand that. So you know what? Just in this moment, I made up my mind. I'm going to leave the little stuff alone. Be seen creations, keep the bra, keep the crystals, it's yours. You might make a dollar off of it. You might slide by for another month or two, but I promise you, you won't win. As for us, Jet Black Transportation, one accord, it takes a village, African-American <clears throat> community organization, we will win and we will keep winning. For me, in the name of every name, and that is the name of Jesus, I say God bless, Happy New Year, and whatever it is that's on your heart to do to better your life and the lives around you, do it, and do it big. And if you have a prayer life, go to God in prayer. And ask him to guide you. Because I'm telling you, there's so much to be done. There are so many gifts inside of you. And it would be such a shame to leave this world without fulfilling your purpose. It would be such a shame to have so many talents and to just sit on them. And leave this world without multiplying your talents. So get up off your talents, get over the anxiety, get over the panic, the, the depression, whatever it is holding you down, put it to the side, let it go and move as my track coach used to say while we were running around that track. Man, I got so many things to pull on that keeps me going. I thank God for my experiences. But it's those experiences in our lives that truly keep us moving, that truly keep us going forward. There's scripture in the word that says that I, that I, I, I that I, the, the, the person, Paul, he's speaking about leaving those things that are behind me and pressing forward to the things that are ahead of me. And I think all of us want that. We want to leave those things that are behind us, leave them behind us and move forward, pressing forward. It's a press. It's a press. It's a press. So keep pressing. Trust me, you, I know the heaviness of depression. I know the heaviness of anxiety and panic. I know the heaviness of fear. I get it. I got it. And then I had to let go of it. It's possible. Get it done. And you will not regret it. Peace out. And again, Happy New Year, everybody. God bless.